now to the voice boat. Uh oh. <laughs> Should we do a voice vote or is it ready? You ready? Okay. Ready? This is for co sponsors to the resolution. Please vote. Thank you. Next item, please. Commissioner Haters. Moved and supported. Are there any discussion on the economic development report? Hearing none, please vote. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item, please. We are on report B from the Committee on Public Services. There are 16 items listed on pages two through seven of the agenda. Commissioner Marecki. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd like to move approval for items one through 16. Order. Moved and supported. Any discussion on any of the items on the public services report? Commissioner uh, Anderson. Madam Chair, I'd uh, like to be uh, uh, noted as a no vote on number 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. Noted. Do Commissioner Basham. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'd uh, like to be a no vote on uh, number 14. Okay. Duly noted. Commissioner Webb. Sorry. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just have a question regarding number nine. Is there a reason why it's a sole source contract? Someone from the administration to speak to number nine? Can I, Madam Chair? Commissioner Basham. As usually a, a no vote against sole source. This is uh, uh, OAEM, uh, which means they're the only ones to provide that part, original. Good morning, Derek Coley, Director of Equipment Division. Um, this contract is um, for OEM, which is Original Equipment Manufacturer Parts. Um, we do own, um, I believe we own six champion graders, and um, uh, most of them are beyond their useful life at this point, so we are replacing a lot of parts. Um, but uh, Alto Equipment is the uh, provider of OEM parts for champion <laughs> graders. And since we do still have them in the fleet, we have to go through Alt. Okay. May I? Commissioner Whip? Yeah, are they, are they the only provider of OEM parts? For champion graders, yes. They are, I, oh, I see, parts. okay. That just seems so strange that it's so not competitive, but I don't know the industry. I'm just asking. I would just think that, you know, I didn't realize that it was, it was that uh, reclusive and, um, so I learned something, but I don't sit on the committee. So thank you for being here to answer my question. It makes sense if they're the only, if they truly are a sole source, then I support it. But you know, we always look to competitive bid if, if we can. Thank you. And, and Madam Chair, one thing we, we, we try to do in the equipment is uh, to diversify the fleet amongst manufacturers. We do have some champion graders, but we also have some cat graders uh, and some case graders and a Volvo. Okay, good. That's good to know. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank for you. That. Thank you. Any additional questions on the public services report? Hearing none, please vote. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item, please. We are on report C from the Committee on Ways and Means. There are 12 items listed on pages 7 through 9 of the agenda. Commissioner Varga. Thank you. I move the entire report. Support. Moved and supported. Are there any discussion on the items? Commissioner Colleen. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have a couple of questions on item number five. Um, the um, setting aside $28 million, um, and it's described in here for the pers prospective early buyout of the parking lot concession agreement. That would be at the uh, new Justice Center site. Yes. Uh, could somebody define prospective for me? 
What does that mean that we're doing this prospectively? Kelly Rao, Management and Budget, Budget Director. Um, this uh, budget amendment is to move funds into the uh, uh, jail fund in order to um, the uh, CEO's office is trying to come up with an agreement with Rock Financial to take control of the parking concession. Until such time, they're moving the funds. But yeah, and right, that doesn't, uh, I understand. Maybe there has someone, not been a finalized agreement. I get so. that too. Mm -hmm. um, maybe someone from administration, um, um, not necessarily management and budget, is who's moving the, the numbers around. What does prospective mean? What's the intentions here? Commissioner Varga. Uh, the intention is to uh, purchase the um, the parking lot so that way uh, we can go. We're moving the money so we can go ahead and uh, uh, negotiate for uh, the purchase of the um, parking lot. Hopefully moving uh, the monies forward will give Rock uh, a notice that we are serious in wanting to have our own destiny on running the parking lot instead of having uh, them do it. There is a potential $2 million savings uh, that they're trying to uh, get to, so they probably will not need the whole 28. It might, I'm not sure, where I asked if they could start negotiating like around 26. <laughs> So we could save some money, but we put it in there. Um, I really think that it would be better if we ran the parking lot. That way we could charge whatever we want to as opposed to yeah. um, having them do it. So that's the, we can play with the words perspective. I don't know, maybe it's we're just looking um, forward to purchasing it prior to um, the time that we thought we might. Um, our intention, I think, all along was to purchase it, but we can do it a lot sooner, so that's probably where the perspective uh, comes from. I'm not sure. Um, Mark Abel wants to speak to that as well. Yes, through, uh, through the chair, and, and to a answer uh, Commissioner Colleen's question, uh, two items, one is, uh, there is not a definitive agreement yet with, I don't know why that's doing that. There's not a definitive agreement yet with uh, Rock regarding the purchase. And that, that's currently in the stage of negotiations is my understanding to the administration. The other part is, is that uh, whether there will be a surplus, <clears throat> an excess of revenue over expenditures in the general fund yet is not known. So it, it's not known to what extent that the $28 million or any part of that $28 million will be reflected in the, the uh, fiscal year ending September 30th, 2018. So that part of it is also, or 2019, that part of it is also prospective. Commissioner, Commissioner Colleen. Sure. Um, uh, Mr. Ravel, so you're saying there may not be $28 million to move? That's correct. Okay. Um, I've been right from the beginning. I thought it was a little more laid out in our original agreement uh, that we didn't have to negotiate. I thought it was a little more laid out mm -hmm. uh, what the rules of the road would be, but that's fine. Um, as it, uh, if, if I could, if I could, you might when when the uh, 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 criminal justice center was approved by the commission, uh, uh, as was indicated in the fiscal analysis on sources and uses, $30 million was always anticipated to be a cost of the, right. the project. The $30 million was going to be paid for through revenues generated through the parking. So this was a cost. So all of this really reflects is an, a, a potential savings of several million dollars by, by paying for it up front rather than through the present value of that future stream of payments. So... Um, uh, that, that is the reason, I mean, it was all laid out and it, and it was defined in the agreement that we have the opportunity to purchase it. It's just that through the early buyout, there's a potential to save two to $4 million. Right. And, I, and I am supportive of that and I've been supportive of that right from the very beginning. That it should not be uh, a concessionaire of, of rock that runs these things for 
the visitors over there, for our employees, for the folks coming on jury duty, uh, et cetera. Um, I also want to ask on this then, what is the status of the parking lots over there? You know, once, uh, uh, once the incinerator was shut down and we were no longer just going to run a big extension cord from the incinerator to power this new facility and we had to put a, a power plant on site, uh, that ate up a lot of the parking uh, that was planned as far as I understand. And so uh, the discussion, and there was the big media thing the other day, of 1,300 parking spaces over there. How close are we to 1,300 spaces? Are they, uh, I believe it was up to Rock to buy the parking lots. So do we have 1,300 spaces over there yet? What's the status of that? Kelly, do you know that answer? If not, Andy? My understanding is that's still in the planning phase. Yeah. No. Andrew Candrevis for the uh, executive office. Commissioner, I don't have that information. I know that Commissioner Anderson has uh, you know, a task force that James Heath regularly comes to. I'm sure this can be a part of the next discussion with the chairman's approval of that. But um, I, you know, Judge Kaufman and James Heath are the ones who have this information. They're not present right now. Um, I can get, talk to you directly about some of those answers. We can make it part of uh, the next committee hearing. So whatever the, the chair wishes with that. But I don't have an answer as to 